What's up, YouTube? Vic here from RC Obsession. I just want to do a quick video and show you what I did to my new NASA. I upgraded it with the new NASA MV2 firmware. Yes, you can do that with your regular NASA, and it's supposed to fly better. It's supposed to the GPS supposed to work better. I hear that it said too that if you have a hexacopter, which I do have a hex, if one of the motors go out. It's supposed to still save your hex or an octocopter, um, which you, to do the octocopter you need a new actual V2 uh, controller, which I don't have anyway. So anyway, I'm just showing you that you can upgrade your NASA with the new firmware. It works. Um, I tried it with the little guy last night, my little TBS Discovery. There is a big difference, and it is more stable. It's more smoother. And I recommend anybody out there that has the original NASA that you should definitely do this. It, it's, it's great. It, it works so much better. It's amazing what just loading up the firmware can do. At first, I saw the new NASA and I thought, would I have to buy the new V2? Because I heard all these good things, what it does. And, um, and then someone told me that you can just update the firmware on your original NASA and it will work as the new NASA. So I'm happy about that and I just did it and it works great. Um, so I'm just want to let you guys know that you can do it and try it out. So there it is. You should know how to do it. Just You have to download the new NASA MV2 software first. Plug in your NASA and then it's, it will tell you to upgrade the new firmware. And you just hit yes. And then there's something new now. You, gotta, you, you have to calibrate your gyro see this is all new so I can move my quad and the numbers changes and everything this is all new stuff it's pr it's pretty amazing I'm very happy with this um, so that's it guys that's all I want to say and good luck peace out guys